Hi guys, welcome and welcome to today's video. My name is Nalo Boletita. So in today's video we are going house hunting and uh, I am here. The place, this place is called Kauku in the center by the way. That's where I'm doing the house hunting from. I want to have a house Oh, Jesus Christ, but it is not easy. So I am waiting for the person who is going to be taking me for a house hunt. Apparently, I said it's coming. I don't know. They are called blockers. So I'm waiting for a blocker to come and pick me up for us to go for a house hunt. Yeah, so guys, um, this place is called uh, Kauku Kachindu because uh, I wanted to have a, a, a house around this this area so this is uh, us being this is me the lady is taking me to where the houses are but this is where we are passing by the way I used two blockers house blockers to look for the house one it was a lady, a woman, but um, I did not really like the houses she took me to. So I still had to try another one. But this is us, me and the lady. This is house. We are going to house number one. Yeah, and uh, this place is still, we are still around Kachindu. This is how the place looks like. Actually, it is a little bit dusty. My, my, um, what I had told this lady was that I really want to have a house where it is nearer from the main road, where it is a walkable distance. I do not have to stress myself while going to my house when it is kind of uh, night and all of that. So, yeah, and then uh, she took me to these ones. Like, you know how house blockers are in Africa. You tell the person this and she opts for the other one. Anyway, because she needs money and all of that, we still had to walk around. So this is one house. First of all, I told her I wanted a tiled house, but this is the house number one she took me to. And uh, the, I did not like it because it is not tiled. And uh, like you have seen before, it is not fenced. It doesn't have a fence, but I have two kids, like uh, uh, two children. So they always have to be running around. I just don't want to always be controlling my kids. I just want somewhere where it is fenced. So this is the house and this is how it looks like. It is not really that much bad, but I just didn't like it. But I can only say that it is. it was kind of good and it was going for 200,000 Ugandan shillings. That is something like... Um, uh, something like... Forty dollars or fifty depends on the depends on the how the rate is. Yeah, and we are still continuing and pro proceeding to another house. This one is a store. This is how it looks like. It doesn't have cabins up and and all of that. But anyway, it's okay. This is her job. This is how the how the house looks like outside. Here, that open place, it's a store where you can put my things, the charcoal, everything. This is the back place. I think that side is where there is a toilet. And this house up you have seen is a house for a landlord. Yeah, now this one, we are going to house number two. This one, it is still tiled. It is in a fence, but I really didn't like its location. The location, it's really located really far away from where I really wanted. Yeah, 
it's located where very far away from where I wanted and I really don't know why because they are around like four houses that are all empty in one in one uh, in the fence this one this is how it looks like yeah that is the toilet they were all dusty I really don't know why they were like that but I just didn't understand that situation this is how that it looks like in the ceiling up and then from up down the, the the walls were a little bit clean the tiles were cleanable because after that that dust you can clean it all by yourself and it goes it really has no problem like that this is Africa and uh, this is how the place looks like outside I just didn't like it that one is a store this one is the house number number th three but it is still on the same house building it's like they have really taken long without anybody being inside them but uh, yeah I'm just looking for the better house and a good house this is how it looks like this one is the room for the uh, the the bedroom and now this one is the toilet this is the bedroom they all look nice by the way besides the dust and the rest but they all look nice i really love them but i just didn't like the location if really the location was okay for me i would take up these ones because they are really really so nice but i just didn't like the location and kind of outside the outside place was not really so pleasing this is how it looks like from up and then down this is how it looks like they were still building and then another one this one is another house that i'm taking you to that car is for a neighbor the neighbors are on the opposite side This one is another Yo, room, and it's still guys, looking exactly yeah, the same as the previous ones. Houses, but yes, this is the bedroom, what is still, going on. but the toilets were all, all good, nice, not complaining. I really love everything about it, but the location just took me off about it. Yeah, this is how it looks like from the inside and everywhere. As you go outside, that is the view. I think you can see that. Yeah, and then there is a store. I don't remember if it got opened. It refused opening. Yeah, this is how it looks like on a, on a, on a view. Now, we went to this other house. Still really so beautiful. Actually, this one was newly constructed. It was cheaper. Oh, the previous ones that we have just left those houses, they were for 250. Those ones that were dusty, they were for 250. This one is also for 250. It is newly constructed, beautiful, so nice, by the way. The, the, the bathroom, as you can see it, the bathroom is super beautiful but the rooms were really so small the rooms are so small that is wasn't really not even the point but the location still was my point this is how it looks like outside the rooms were small of which still i do not have any problem with them but still the location the location they are all located in kachindo and i really do not like a place that is so dusty for those that are staying around uh, Kauku Kachindo you know exactly what I'm talking about if it comes to dust oh Kauku Kachindo I'm talking about Entebbe Road still for those of you who know this has a lot of dust super a lot of dust if I may tell you the truth they are so dusty. I really don't like the, 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 the roads that come to this house. Because by the time you start taking a border border, this one is a store. 
and that is how it looks like this one is the backyard that you're taking that they're taking me to this uh that's, those are the neighborhoods this is how the place really look cute and beautiful this is an, an outside toilet it is still under construction this one is a backyard where we put the clothes and maybe like i've finished uh, washing the clothes that's where i hang them from <clears throat> and the other side that one is another room that was taken by a neighbor for those that are staying around kachindo as i was saying they know exactly what i'm talking about the place is really so dusty dusty it really has a lot of dust and when it is a rainy season it has a lot of water and everything i really just didn't like that that situation that's why i didn't take the house but they are really super beautiful i love them they are really so super beautiful i really love each and every part of it yeah and everywhere is really so nice i love it that one is a tank that keeps water and puts it in the in the in the tub for me to access that water Mm, it's okay and it is still so nice i really love them and this house really i just got done with it but i just didn't still like the location by the way most of the houses they were taking me all of the houses were so good but i still just didn't like the location the location was really my biggest problem here but uh, it's okay regardless we move I just can't um, change anything about it, so it's okay. I was just taking a second look around the house. This time round, I was really being so slow and keen so that it can give you a beautiful view of how it looks like. Mm -hmm. This is how everything looks like, even the upper side of it, everywhere this is how everything looks like yep that's it so here i am having another agent blocker house blocker taking me to another destination again <laughs> to see another house actually this one i have i had gotten away from um, Shindu, the, the 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 other trading center now here we are in the center of kauku but this side of where the market is and we are going deep down inside yeah we are taking the road i don't know where it was going like you know i am new and all of that i'm just seeing exactly how to go about everything yeah so we are here on the another house hunt in another place this one is in the central kauku uh we are walking around for those of you who don't know this is how our african kauku looks like <laughs> yeah still dusty but we have nothing to do about it here we were reached at the mm, at the gate of the house and uh, the gate looks like this now the guy had opened remember the other one was a lady now uh, the lady agent now this one is a man and he is taking me to another house to see how it looks like from outside well this one i really didn't have any problem with the location i really didn't have any problem about anything so here he was looking for the keys to the house and the lady was coming to bring the keys for us but uh this house was really so nice it really had everything i needed and uh, the compound was really so nice and uh, the kids can play from here and there are some kids around 
I really liked it. We saw that baby that was seated there and the baby was so nice and cute. Yeah, this is us entering the house and uh, this is how it looks like. The kitchen is inside and it has some beautiful cabins. I really love them. Yeah, the cabins were really so nice. And uh, this is the toilet. This is how it looks like. And uh, this is the room. And still, this is how it looks like. This is the outside of the place. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I really didn't like about this is that the, the room, the bedroom, as you can see, it's really wide. You can't, it doesn't have any privacy. I don't know whoever built this. I don't know what that person was thinking about. And yet the, the, the kitchen is inside. Anyway, I really still didn't like the, that fact that uh, it did not have a bedroom, a bedroom what? A bedroom door. So I just didn't take it. The location is good and everything is good, but I didn't like that about it. Now, here we are on another house. The, this one is located still in Kauku, around that side. Um, I didn't like that. The, 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 the peelings of the, of the room. I don't know. Yeah, that. I showed you about it. That. I really didn't like it. But the rest was good. The compound was good, like I'm going to tell you. Any, I, I, I just don't know anything. You just find, oh, the previous houses, the previous house that we looked at, it was for 260,000 Ugandan shillings. And uh, this one is also for 260,000 Ugandan shillings. This is how the beautiful, the, the view of the house and this is the kitchen. It was cleanable. It has some dusts, but it was. It is cleanable. You can clean it and get away with that. It really. It even had some cabins on it. Yeah, this is the outside part. See that? I really loved it. The compound and everything. Wow, everything is super, super on point. I really love it. See that? That is how the house looks like. And uh, it really has a beautiful compound, by the way. The compound was super good, so ample for the kids to play on, to play in or on or something, God knows. Yeah, the person, that, that gentleman that was there in the compound, he directed us and he said there is another room that we can look at around and see if we also like it. Yeah, I did really I really didn't like this one. Actually, this house it still also goes for 260. By the way, the this one for 260, but the landlady or landlord or whatever it is said that the ten thousand is for water, so Literally, it is for 250. Yep, this is how it looks like. Still also has some cabins on it. Yeah, this is how everywhere looks like. And that gentleman that you, you keep seeing in is an agent blocker that was uh, taking me around. Yeah. We just uh, we just got done looking around here, and we told the people that we'll get back to them if we happen to find, or if we happen to really love them again. Yeah. So here we were getting out. This is how the outside looks like. Yeah, this is how the outside looked like. It wasn't really that bad. So here we are at another house. By the way, this house is uh, it is costing three hundred thousand. That is something around like uh, uh, seventy something to eighty dollars. It really depends. It doesn't come up to one hundred dollars. So this house is really another amazing house. 
and this one is located in uh, still in Kauku center of the of the main road yeah this is how it looks like inside it's really wide so nice and beautiful i really love it and uh, this is the toilet this is how the toilet looks like so beautiful it has a fresh water waterfall uh, showering and uh, this is the place and this is how it looks like i love it yep i really loved it and this is how everything looks like that one that lady you see in black is the landlady now it had some cracks on those but they said when you're entering if you pay when you have entered they clean it and um, everything gets better so the, it was nothing to worry about they were cleaning it when you're done with the house or some when you when you're done paying for the house i really loved everything and still it is tiled fenced the compound was so nice you know i really loved everything and how it really looked like this is how the compound looks like so simple nice and cute yeah those are the neighbors by the way they are just two neighbors and uh, this is kind of the backyard and this is how this space looks like that one outside you see is a toilet this one is a yeah gate. so that was my house hunting that was my house hunting that is how my house hunting went like so tell me how is what you think about the ugandan houses by the way they are super expensive but nothing to do about it Please share, subscribe, comment, and like. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Love you.